my channel. This is Swift Wildness. I am Ashley and today we've got a 30 minute no equipment necessary ab workout. Of course if you've got a minivan or you've got a set of weights we always have additional challenges to add in that difficulty if you want it. This is the perfect workout to add into the end of a workout you already currently do or a perfect standalone workout if you just want to work those abs. Of course if you don't have 30 minutes go ahead and check out our channel. We have shorter workout videos for those of you that are short on time. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Let's go ahead and get started. into that high plank. We're just going to start off with a little alternating uh, shoulder taps today. So right hand to left shoulder, left hand. You're just working on holding that core nice and stable, not twisting through the spine. Just warming everything up. Always have the option. If it's too much, you can always drop down to your knees. That's okay. It's just a warm up. Just again, tapping, alternating hand to shoulder, warming up or up here, your choice. We're gonna hold it in that plank and we're gonna tap out to the outsides of our mat in three, in two, in one. Go ahead and then left foot taps out to center, right, center, left. Again, holding that core nice and tight. If you have sensitive wrists, you can always drop down to your forearms here, that's okay too. You're just tapping out, 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 good. So either place, wherever you're at, tap, tap. Good. We're gonna walk it into a bear walk in three, two, and one. Good, just bring those knees in and out. It's in and out. Just feeling that core warm up already. It's out, in, and out. Good, you got it guys. Walking it in. Walking it in, good. Out and in, good. We're gonna drop down to our forearms in three, in two, good. In one, go ahead, drop down to your forearms. We're gonna go into an alternating hip twist, so it's left hip, right, left, right, good. Think about making a rainbow with your hip, going up and over. It's up, over, good. Up, over. Again, just warming up through that oblique. Good. At three, two, one. Good. Go ahead, drop those knees down. Sink back just for a quick child's pose. We're gonna walk it back up, finish out that warm up with a little mountain climber. So you're just bringing that knee in, up, in, in. Good. Give yourself just a little bit of stability. That shoulder directly over that hand. You're almost through this warm up. You've got five. Good. Four. Good. Three. Last two. And then we're going to finish out that warm up. One. Good. And drop those knees. Sink down into child's pose. Go ahead, roll over onto your back. We're gonna start off with some dead bugs today. If you have weights, this is where you would use them. If not, that's okay as well. You're gonna roll onto your back. We're gonna take those knees, stack them directly over the hips. You're making a 90 degrees with your hips. Take those weights in your hands if you have them. If not, that's okay. Opposite hand and opposite legs move, focused on pushing that low back into the ground. So my left leg extends as my right arm extends overhead, back to center. It's out and center. So that whole time I'm focused on keeping my low back pressed into the ground, keeping my core active. So it's all the way out, opposite and back. So you're getting a little tricep extension here as well, but you're focused on that core the whole way and back to center. Good. There you go, walk it all the way out, try to get as far as you can. Maybe you can't go that long, that's okay, that's fine. Wherever your mobility is, you're extending 
Good. Extending. Good. We're going to hold it out on this left side in three, and we're just going to pulse. So going back to center. Good. You're going to have two. This time I'm going to hold this left arm back and this right leg long, just little baby pulses. So my leg and my arm extend. I'm pressing my core down into the ground. Deep, long breaths, not letting yourself hold your breath. You got three, two, one. Good, bring it back to center and now switch. Pulsing that opposite side, same thing. Holding that left arm straight, right arm extends, left leg extends, hold. Good, you got three, two, one. Good, come back to center. We're gonna go one last time all the way through, alternating to flush that out before we switch to the next exercise. Good, you've got five more, just like this. Good, three, good. Think about focusing on that core. Good, last one, one on each side. You're gonna go ahead, set those weights down if you have them. Good, go ahead and set them down. If you've got no weights, that's okay. You're gonna take your back hands into the ground, taking that same 90 degrees we're gonna think about pushing out and away with those legs, and then they come back to 90 degrees. So my head's down on the ground, my palms face into the ground, you're pressing out, back to 90. It's out and away to 45, and back to 90. That same core engagement, I'm pressing into the ground, not letting my back arch, press and back. It's press and back. If that's too easy, here's your modification, here's your extra added challenge. Hands behind the head, roll the shoulders up off the ground, and as I press, and then bring it back in. You should feel a deeper burn in the core as you extend, and back in, and out, extend. I really want you to focus on pressing those legs as long as possible, getting as much height as you can in that chest, and try to extend those legs long, and then back. Make sure you're not just extending straight up. You wanna push out and away, and then bring it back in. Good, we've got 10 seconds left here. We're gonna add in a little bit of a circle today. So press out and away, center, out. Good, we've got one more. Good, quick hug into the chest. We're gonna take those same legs, extend them out, create a big, long 90 degrees. Think about keeping those legs as straight as possible. Head, neck, and shoulders on the ground to start. You're gonna come down, you're gonna make a big wide leg circle, come down to your lowest point, and then come straight back up. So if you were looking at me straight on, I'm making a big circle all the way to the bottom, and then I'm raising those legs straight back up. So it's down and around, and then straight back up. Of course, you might not be able to go that low. You're only going as low as your low back will allow. So maybe my circle stays up here. That's okay, I'm focused on those abs, focused on pressing them into the ground. So coming down and up, down and up, good. So of course, if that's too easy and you can make a big wide circle, you can always lift your head, neck, and shoulders up, make that circle, and then come back to the top. So again, continuing all the way down, we're gonna reverse that circle in three. So you've got two more just like that. Big wide circle. And this next one, we're gonna hold it up at the top. And this time we're gonna come down first and then open as we come back up and around. So you might find this variation is easier. You might find this variation is harder, but it's all about how you can control your legs as they come down. Open up wide, create the biggest, smoothest circle that you possibly can. Come down, good. Think about making a smooth circle, not making a square with your legs. We're almost done, you've got 10 seconds. And then we're gonna get off of this long legged crunch. You've got three, two, and one. Good, go ahead again, hug those knees into the chest for a quick Reprieve, we're gonna go into some bicycle chops. So you have a couple options here. Slightly more challenging to sit up on your sit bones. Taking those knees coming out to a 90 degrees. We're gonna take those arms long. We're gonna chop to the right, center, chop to the left, center. Down, up, down. 
course, if that's too challenging and you find that you're losing your balance, you can come back to your back. Keep that 90 degrees right there. Keep those arms long. You're reaching past that hip bone, back to center, reaching long. So here's your modification. Whichever feels best to you, you're working on that oblique as you twist across, trying to bring that opposite shoulder to that opposite knee. Center, switch. Good, you've got it, all the way. Twist. Or of course, if you're up on that bicycle, it looks like this, you're balancing those legs. Twist, twist, twist. And of course, you always have that mid-range option too. If you wanna stay seated, but you wanna keep those heels for balance, you can. It's a twist, twist. Just make sure you rock back on those hips so you engage that core here, here. Good. So if I've got those legs up, we're gonna hold to the right side in two, and we're just gonna pulse on this next one. Good, just hold. Little pulses, trying to bring that opposite shoulder to that opposite knee. Good, you're just balancing here, holding, feeling that burn through the core, through the obliques. Good, you've got it. You've got five, four, we're gonna switch sides in three, two, one, good, switch sides. Same thing, holding up nice and tall. Keep that chest to the sky. Twist over to that opposite hip. We're just pulsing. Good. We're gonna finish out alternating from side to side in three, two, good, one. And then you're switching back to center and over. Center, over, good. And of course, if you're on that back, you're doing that exact same movement. You're just here holding to the center, right, center, left. Center, good, you've got 10 seconds. Good, you've got it. I'm gonna meet you on your back in three, in two, in one. Good work, guys. We're gonna move into a little bit more of an advanced move here. You've got your V-sit. So here's what it's gonna look like. Your arms go long, your legs go long. I'm making a V movement with my legs as I sit all the way up. So fingertips touch overhead. Sitting up, touching those toes, and then coming all the way back down. So again, sitting up to those toes. Of course, you always have that option. If that's too challenging, you're coming up to the top, taking those hands behind, tucking those knees into the chest, and then extending long. So I bring those knees in, press out and away, in and out. Good, really working on that whole oblique that whole core, feeling everything engage as I extend and then pull it back in. So extend and pull in. If you want a modification that's in the middle, you can always come all the way down and alternate that single leg V-sit, trying to sit up and touch that single toe. Come back down, touch that single toe, and then come back down. Whichever one that you're doing, you're trying to reach as long as possible Sitting so all the way up nice and tall, kind of touch that toe, extend that leg long, extend that hand long. So coming all the way down again, you're reaching up to that opposite toe. Good. Maybe you try to add in a double leg in between every single. That's always a modification that you can try. Whatever feels good for you. You've got three more exactly like that. We're gonna flip over on it to our back in three two, and one. So go ahead and take a quick second, switching over to your hands. We've got a single leg plank today. So here's how it works. I'm gonna stack myself in my normal plank, shoulders directly over my hands. I'm gonna lift that left leg straight up. And then from there, I'm gonna slowly walk my hands down to my forearms and then walk back up to my hands. Of course, you always have the modification to drop to the knee. It's down, down, up, up. So again, control yourself. This should be very, very slow. So you're going down and up, down, up. The main thing here is you're trying not to avoid, is you're trying to not wiggle through the hips. So holding that core nice and strong, whether your leg is extended and that knee is down, or you're in that plank, you're going up and down. Good, down and up, good. So again, if you're up in that plank, holding that leg nice and long, challenging your core, coming down and up. 
Good. You've got one more. We're going to meet up in that plank. Pick that leg up if you haven't already picked it up. We're going to take that right foot. We're going to point and flex. So shifting the weight forward and then back. It's forward and back. Good. Again, if you have that leg, you need to bend that knee. Then you're going to have to pop that extra leg up here. So you can still shift that weight forward as long as you're stabilizing that core here. Really thinking about squeezing through those hip flexors, squeezing through that glute. Nothing moves, you're just shifting forward and back. Good, if you're in that plank, you're gonna hold it, you're gonna tap that toe down in three, in two, in one. Good, go ahead, switch that feet. Switch that foot out. So now the right foot raises up. You're gonna walk down to those forearms, walk back up. So again, on that knee, it's down and up. Good. Down and up. Good, holding it nice and strong. Focus on that core. You have to take it really slowly all the way down to those forearms, that's okay. Press through the hands. Good, you've got two more, and then we're gonna hold it to the top. Good, on this next one, I want you to hold it up. Pop up that knee if you haven't already as we shift our weight forward and back. Point and flex, point and flex. Good, you've got it. This is your challenge. If you didn't pop up the last time, kind of pop up on this one. You've got 15 seconds. We're gonna drop down to our knees. Good, you've got it. 10, just pointing and flexing that toe, pulling that core, I'm right there with you. You've got it, you've got five seconds. Good, three and two and one. Good, go ahead, drop those knees, take a quick child's pose. We're gonna go into a little side plank. We're gonna little thread the needle today. So go ahead, drop down onto your right forearm. I'll show you the first modification, the first variation, and then I'll show you the modification. So popping those hips up, arm extends up overhead, twist underneath, really bringing that shoulder down and around, and then come back up. Your option, of course, is to drop that bottom knee, pop those hips up. So as I twist, I'm really focused on bringing that shoulder towards the ground, and then back up. Thread it underneath and up. So as I come down, I'm not letting that hip sag to the ground. Keep that hip up. Arm threads all the way through and up. Good. Of course, you can always add a little challenge by lifting that leg up straight up to the sky. You see that little bit of in-between balance challenge. Good. Reach up. So as you're coming around, I'm really trying to think about twisting all the way so that opposite shoulder meets the mat so it's nice and flat and parallel, and then extending up. Don't just move your arm. You wanna focus on that whole rotation through the shoulder. Good, so you're stacking back up, holding that hip up. On the next one, I want you to just hold it up and press that hip to the sky so the movement's coming from the hips. You're pressing up, up, good. All the way, good, big deep breath as you're pressing towards the sky, good, hold it up, good. Whether you're here in that side plank with that bent knee or you're here on that stack plank, you're just pressing up, up, good. On this next one, I want you to take that top leg and lift it up in three, two, one. Good, you're gonna lift that leg. Down. So I'm not moving the hips, I'm just moving the leg. Of course, you can always modify that too by popping that bottom knee down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, you got it, guys. Hold it up. Press. You got three more, two more, one. Good. Go ahead, sink it back down. We're gonna spin around to the other side. Same exact setup, you're taking that left forearm, pressing it into the ground, stacking those feet, pop it up either onto that knee or both legs. Take that arm, thread it underneath, and press all the way to the sky. Good. Up and down. Good, you got it, guys. 
Again, think about really threading it through all the way. So I'm taking that arm, wrapping it underneath my body, extending it towards the sky, extending it long. So big twist and extend. Good, you got it. Through. And then on this next one, you're gonna hold it up. We're just gonna pulse to the sky. Good, you're just pulsing all the way. Good. We'll let it drop. I know that those hips should be getting a little bit tired. You're pressing up through that side, working that oblique. You got it. Three, two, one. Good, now we're just gonna take that foot. We're gonna drop it to the ground and then raise it up. So it's a tap, raise. I'm gonna let that hip drop, hold it to the sky. Good, just a lower and a lift. You're almost through, good. Holding it all the way up, you've got three, you've got two, last one, good job, guys. All right, we're rolling back over onto our plank one more time today. This is our last plank of class. Then you get to be on your backs for the remainder of class. So go ahead and stack it up, holding that high plank. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna take that knee into my chest, but as I do, so I'm pressing my hands into the ground, arching my back, and then extending long. So when you bring it in, it's not like a traditional mountain climber. I really want you to push through your hands, round that back, and extend. It's in and extend. Of course, you can always drop that opposite knee. It doesn't change. You're just rolling that back and then pressing it out. So to get that arch through your back, you have to push into the ground, have to push away from your chest. So as I extend, I flatten out. And then as I bring it in, I really bring my chest all the way to the sky, press my hands up, and then extend. Good. Press it in and out. Good, we're working through the shoulders, but we're also working the core and that low back. So bring that knee in and press into the ground and extend, good. So you have a few options. You can still be in that plank, but you're gonna hold it in on the next one. We're just gonna hold it in on that, arc, that big curl. So hold it in, just little tiny movements. You're just pressing that knee into the chest, press the hands into the ground, good. Holding it in for three and two and one. Good. Extend it out long. Again, you're switching those feet. So same thing here. I'm bringing that left knee into my chest and then extend. Round it in and extend. You've got it. Of course, you can always drop that knee down, roll that back and extend. Good. Make sure that you're not arching your back when you get to this point. You want to hold it flat. Hold that core in. You should be one long line, and then we're rounding. One long line, and round, good. You've got it, we're almost to the end. Press, and press, good. We're gonna hold it in in three, in two. Good, this next one, hold it in. Just little pulses, good. If you've been on your knee, I dare you to pop up on your toes. Hold it for this last bit. You've got 10 seconds. We're gonna finish it out. Press your hands into the ground, arch, round through that back, round through the shoulders for five more seconds. Good, you've got three, two, and one. Good, drop down, quick child's pose. You've got two remaining exercises today and then we're finishing off. So coming back onto your back, we've got some toe touches to finish out today. So back presses into the ground, just like we started with. Take those weights, if you have them handy, legs extend long towards the sky. We're gonna take that weight, we're gonna reach up towards the toes and back down. So my legs and my lower body don't move, it's just my shoulders roll up and back down, up. Down, good. Just a little quick movement here, all the way, good. Press up, and back down. Again, watch if you're not swaying here. 
The only movement should be your chest rising up off the ground, thinking about pulling those shoulder blades off, pulling that bra strap all the way up to the toes, and then come all the way back down. So it's up and down. Good. We're almost to the end of class today, guys, so hold it all the way up. Good. On this next one, we're just gonna pulse. So little baby pulses. Try to extend those legs long. If your legs are shaking, that's okay. Just little pulses. Don't set that chest down. Good. You've got it. Finishing it out. Trying to reach for those toes. Almost done with everything today. Big reach. Big deep breath. Good. You've got three, two, one. And come all the way down. Keep that weight nearby. Or you can set it onto the ground if you like. We're going to add in a little bit of a reverse crunch. So I'm going to press my hands into the ground or I keep that weight right here. I'm going to take those hips and I'm going to pop up just a little baby pop. Think about getting a little inch off the ground. So if I have my weight, I'm holding it right here and just pop, pop, pop. If you need an added stability, go ahead and take your hands, bring them to the mat. Think about lifting up directly over your hips, up. There should be no swing. Try not to get any momentum here. You're just extending those legs long. Real quick hop. Hop. Good. Think about taking those feet, pressing them to the upper parts of the ceiling. Good. Got it. Press. Press. Good. Take that weight. If you have it, you can always add it in. Just watch that you're not swinging. Good. Hop. Hop. Three, good. Two, and one. Finish it out. Yeah, you got it. So we've got one last exercise today. We're gonna go into a little bit of glute bridge and some marching today. So take those feet, bring them close to your hips. Of course, if you have weights, you can always take them, press them onto your pelvis for an added challenge. If you don't, that's okay too. Go ahead and take those weights. You're gonna press your hips all the way up to the ground. I'm gonna hold them up. I'm not gonna let them drop during this remaining minute and a half of class. You've got 90 seconds to hold these boots up to the end. We're gonna just start with a little march. So my hands are into the ground and I'm just marching. I'm picking up my feet, not letting my hips drop. I'm just holding as I press. Good. That's all you're doing here. Just lifting, not letting those glutes drop. Good. We're finishing out those last 90 seconds of class together. We're working till the very end. Good. You've got five seconds and we're gonna hold that right leg up. In three, in two, hold that right leg up. We're gonna drop those hips and lift. Let's drop and lift. So I'm never putting that right foot down. I'm just dropping those hips to the ground, pressing up into the sky. Good. Down. And up. Good, you got it. You've got 15 seconds. We're gonna switch to the other side. Good, keep pressing. We're not squeezing the glutes at the top. You've got five seconds. We're gonna switch to that left foot. In three, in two, in one. Good, go ahead, switch your make it quick. You've got 30 seconds to finish up class. Good, hold that left leg into the air. Good, hips come to the ground. And press up. Squeeze, and up. Good, all the way, you got this. 15 seconds remain. Good, we're gonna just hug those knees into the chest to finish our class. Good, you got it guys. You got five seconds, three, two, and one. Bring it down, hug those knees into the chest, you are done. Good work today. Go ahead and extend that right leg long. We're gonna reach over to that right side for our cool down. You're taking that fingertips, reaching over to that right foot, stretching that long. Maybe you can't reach the toe, that's okay. Shin, whatever feels good. Feel that big stretch down that left side. One deep breath, and then we're gonna exchange those legs, switch the left side out long. Take that left hand, big stretch.
Good, go ahead. Cross those legs, you're gonna take those hands behind your back and open up that chest towards the sky. Big deep breath as you pull your neck and chest to the sky. Opening up through the chest, open up through those shoulders. Go ahead and walk out. We're gonna flip over on to a bird dog position. Big arch through your back as we enter into some cat cows. Big inhale as you reach the sky. Big exhale as you press out all your breath. Arch and round through that back. Press your hands into the ground. Big inhale as you arch. Big exhale as you round. One last one. And go ahead and lay out on your mat. We're gonna finish out with a little cobra. Taking those legs along, press the hands into the ground, extending through the back, and looking over that right shoulder. So we stretch out through the low back, through the abs. One big deep breath here, and then we'll switch to the opposite side. Go ahead, tuck your toes. We'll finish off in a downward facing dog today. Pressing back into those hips, sending them high. Maybe pedaling out your knees to get those heels to the ground. And take one more deep breath. Drop down onto those knees. And then we'll finish out in that child's pose today. Great work today, guys. Hopefully that ab routine was exactly what you needed to incorporate into your weekly routine. And it was a perfect finisher for your already awesome workouts. Of course, I want to know how it went. Tell me in the comments below, did you take the added challenges? Did you need the modifications? Let me know so I can continue to make the best possible workout for you. And of course, make sure to share our channel with your friends and like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Have a great day.